Happy Friday, I'm Trace, and welcome to This Week in Discovery News, where we recap the top stories of the last seven days. Keep an eye out on the ticker for social media comments throughout the show. Our first story is, future zoos have woolly mammoths and tiger robots. Most of you agreed that you do not want robotic animals in a zoo. Now, cloned animals... That's another story. The idea of cloning extinct animals has fascinated humans for centuries, starting in the early 1800s. Today, the San Diego Zoo maintains a collection of extinct, rare, or endangered animals in what they call the Frozen Zoo, so that when we do figure out this cloning thing, we can bring them all back. It turns out the mammoth cloning project is ongoing, with Japanese and Russian scientists believing that they might be able to clone a real mammoth in the next five years. That'll be pretty cool. I don't want a ticket to the first viewing. Hold on to your butts. It's alive! There's magma on the moon. We're all familiar with quakes here on Earth, but what about on the moon? Scientists didn't think there was any tectonic activity on the moon until recently when they discovered there was magma moving underneath its crust. Way to go, science. Way to admit when you're wrong and reevaluate. I guess you can't really have earthquakes on the moon they'd be moonquakes. The history of the moon has changed just a bit with this discovery. Originally, the moon was thought to be dark, cold, and still. Now the moon is thought to be dark, cold, and less still. There's likely to be liquid hot magma on the moon. They're still imaging the moon, so we're going to have to check back with these moonquakes another time. Shooting further out into the cosmos, our third story of the week is... Hubble reveals weird new exoplanet, Waterworld. This week, scientists determined that an exoplanet discovered in 2009 has a thick, steamy atmosphere... with water underneath. This planet is unlike any that we've ever discovered before. It's slightly larger than Earth and slightly smaller than Uranus. And it's also very hot. We're talking 230 degrees Celsius. That's pretty hot. Coolest thing, or the hottest thing, is that the high temperature actually causes things to exist on this planet that can't exist here on Earth. Things like hot ice, or superfluids. A superfluid is a liquid that's not susceptible to normal physics. So if you were to fill a bowl with a superfluid, gravity would pull down on the middle of it, and the friction that the bowl would create wouldn't apply. So the bowl would just overflow constantly until there was nothing left in it. Go look it up. Blow your mind. Oh, look it up and blow your mind. (laughs) That's it for me. Thanks for tuning in to This Week in Discovery News. Make sure that you like us on Facebook, that you're following us on Twitter, and that you subscribe to our Discovery Daily Newsletter, which you can do at discoverynews.com. So have a great week. We'll see you next time. I feel like we should do a movie-like trailer. (laughs) On a world far out into the universe. (laughs) With a steamy atmosphere lies a planet unlike any we've ever seen. We talking 230 degrees Celsius, yo. That's hot. That's super hot.